This is episode 1975 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Megley, and I honor you for giving yourself this time to slow down, to give yourself a little more peace, energy, and clarity. In today's episode, you are going to discover your sixth chakra. This week's series has followed along with a theme to learn to trust yourself by meeting your chakras. Chakras are not something outside of yourself that you focus on and cultivate. Chakras are you. They are your innate wisdom. And you could think of chakras as being different memories and experiences and emotions you've had throughout your life. And they seem to settle or congregate in particular areas of your body. And you've explored each of those areas this week. Today will be the sixth area. Tomorrow will be the final episode of this series on chakras where you will explore the final chakra of your seventh chakra. So as you think about your different chakras, you have had a special challenge this week. That challenge has been a symbolism quest because the chakras represent so many aspects of who you are that you can go deeply into different aspects of each chakra. You are complex. There's so much that makes you who you are. And you can draw out different aspects of yourself by having a little fun and focus on different gemstones or Vedic astrology or even sounds that you might attune to and listen for as you meditate in stillness. So I'll be sharing with you as you explore your sixth chakra today, some of those more unique aspects of your chakra. So your sixth chakra is located in two areas. This chakra is where you branch off from your ego, which is centered at your medulla oblongata. This is a fancy word for the dip behind your neck. If you take your hand now and place it in the back of your neck, you'll notice a dip there. That is your medulla oblongata. It's right at the very top of your spine. Your first chakra, you may remember, is right at the very base of your spine, your coccyx, your tailbone. So when you're accessing and focusing on your sixth and seventh higher chakras, you're going above your spine. So as you release your more egocentric qualities, and these are qualities that are not necessarily bad, they're just your preferences and who you are. And it's important to know who you are, not to wear a mask that doesn't represent you, but not to become so attached in who you are that you're living for yourself. When you reach your sixth chakra, you are aspiring higher, realizing life is about more than yourself, that you are connected to all of life around you. So as you release your chakras, your lower chakras, you aspire to your higher qualities, which are represented at the positive pole of your sixth chakra, which is right at the point between your eyebrows. This is where I always recommend you elevate your eyes gently to this point as you meditate, because this helps to keep your thoughts uplifted. 
try something now. Drop your eyes downward. Do you feel your spirit drop? Now, place your eyes straight out in front of you. This is where you gather information about the world. Now uplift your eyes and you can see yourself letting go of distractions, letting go of information you're gathering with your eyes from the world around you. You can feel yourself uplift to your higher qualities, especially if your eyes are closed and gently elevated at the point between your eyebrows. So, these are the two poles of your sixth chakra. If you could visualize a golden cord or a golden tube from your medulla oblongata, the back of your neck, going through and connecting to your spiritual eye. Feel as though this cord connects you to who you are, but helps you to become part of something bigger than yourself through your spiritual eye. The color of this beautiful chakra is indigo. And the element is considered to be super ether. The sound of this chakra is OM, like the roar of water or a waterfall. It may feel as though this great sound is roaring in your ears. The positive aspect of your Sixth chakra at your spiritual eye is self-enlightenment, divine guidance, intuition, concentration, and willpower. The Vedic astrological sign is Leo with the sun. The metal is gold and the gemstone is ruby right at your spiritual eye. It's your seed of enlightenment, your divine guidance and intuition, your Anya Chakra. The negative pole at your medulla oblongata has a positive aspect. It's selfless service and divine surrender where you let go of your ego and you reach out to your highest self. The harmful or more negative quality is when you become too ego involved or vain with too much focus on I and me and this is how I feel and this impacted me in this way. The element of your ego based pole of your sixth chakra is silver. The gemstone is pearl. The moon is the ruling planet and the Vedic astrological sign is cancer. As you settle yourself down to meditate today, visualize this golden or vibrational cord that connects you with who you are, those aspects that make you uniquely you. Balancing those with 
your spiritual eye, your divine connection and intuition, where you're connected to something so much greater than yourself. Letting go of your ego and opening up and embracing the divine. If you'd like the full guided half hour meditations for this week's chakra series and access to over 1900 guided meditations, you can find those with two weeks free access to the Sip and Own meditation app. You are so worth slowing 